welcome back. Today we're doing this at my house and this is the long awaited uh, grill video. So, for those who have seen the previous videos, you've seen this. For those who haven't, today we're putting on the RS style grill. Because this grill didn't come with the Audi badge, separately I've had to buy an emblem holder. So the first thing we're gonna do is put this on here so we can transfer that original badge to this grill. So we'll get cracking with that. So I started to line up the emblem holder and make sure that it was in centre. Then using the brackets that was provided, I then had to put three screws in the top and three screws in the bottom, uh, holding these two brackets so it would kind of clamp the emblem holder to the grill. It did turn out to be a bit fiddly because the emblem holder was completely straight and the grill does have a kind of curve to it. However, after a bit of tinkering and a bit of fiddling around, we managed to get there in the end. Again, here you can see me trying to line it up, make sure it is in the middle, because I was a bit paranoid that it was going to be slightly offset and look a bit weird when it's done. And because it was so fiddly, I didn't want to do it over and over again. So I had to make sure that it was dead centre first time round. There we go, for me that is dead centre. Lovely. Dead centre, that's where we want it. Now it's time to get this bumper off. We're gonna turn the wheels, we're not gonna jack it up, turn the wheels. Do the bolts under there, do the ones around the other side, and then get this grill fitted. So I started by undoing the plastic push clips that are underneath the bonnet on this uh, protective piece of plastic that goes between the bumper and the engine compartment itself. It kind of acts as a bit of a weather protector for most of the engine. After that plastic piece was removed, I then found a few screws I had to undo. Again, I've never taken a, a bumper off an Audi before, uh, so I just found where the screws were as I was doing it. So I found two screws either side here of the original grill. And again, because I was unsure, I started pulling and tinkering and undoing some of the, the bolts that go to the lights and seeing if I could take the lights out because I wasn't sure what sort of sequence that this Audi needed to take its bumper off. I quickly realized that that was just the lights and there must be some other way that this bumper is connected. And because I was doing it on a jack and because I didn't have two jacks and couldn't be bothered to put it on jack stands, I tried to do the arch liner with minimal pulling it back and keeping the wheel on and it, it just didn't work out. You'll see I end up having to jack the car up take one wheel off, do one side of the bumper, put the wheel back on, and then flip around and do it all on the other side. had to make sure that the wheel was straight because I didn't want to jack it up and then the wheel that was staying on the ground try and make the car sort of a bit more wobbly than it needs to be. So that's why I straightened the wheel here and then started jacking it up.
It was a cold and a wet day, but somehow I still managed to build up a sweat just by trying to take the wheel off and the bumper off, uh, but there you go. Whilst I had the car jacked up, I then moved on to the bolts that were securing the bumper to the under trays, as this would make it a bit easier later down the line. You'll find out later on in the video that I didn't do this quite correctly and I had to get back underneath. There were several screws and they were all T25s um, all over the place. There's, there's multiple under panels on this car. Uh, there's, there's a very small one that connects to the bumper to an under panel and that under panel connects to another under panel and they've all got T25s in it. Now that's all done, I can put the wheel back on, lower the car, jump around the other side and do this process all over again. And although you can't see it, I am doing this by hand. As I said in my last video, that I actually messed up one of the threads on my spacer because they are aluminium threads and I used the impact and it just didn't go very well. So from now on, I will be putting these on by hand. I didn't talk the bolts down only because I was going to do the other side and the car wasn't physically moving and I ended up having to do it all over again just to tighten up the bumper. So I didn't end up talking them down because the car didn't move. And onto the other side, as before, jack it up, wheel off, get inside that arch and undo the bolts. There's three bolts in total that hold the bumper on. Now, I believe somebody has taken my bumper off before because not all three bolts were in place but there's one that's quite deep and there's one that holds it to the front wing and there's another one that holds it a little bit further on in the front wing. So in theory, if I've done this right, I should be able to pop off this side. And then this one. And away we come. Unless we're still attached on the bottom to something. Let's try that one again, shall we? 
we are off. Now for the fun part, electrical connectors. Right, so I've never done this before, and I'm not sure if there's a way that I can take the bumper off without spilling washer fluid everywhere. Um, so I am gonna leave them attached, but I do still have a bit restricted, but a little bit of movement. If I move this around here, Whilst I'm undoing the old grill, obviously this bash bar is silver and will show up through the new grill. So, I've got myself a little spray paint, so I'm gonna paint that black, uh, just a couple of coats. It doesn't have to be anything major, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and it's just basically gonna cover up the crash bar whilst I've got the new grill on to hide that a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll tackle the grill. plastic clips that hold the grill onto the bumper, simply pop them up and you can pull it away. At this point I did still have those two T25s within the emblem holder still attached, so I did struggle. You see me here trying to pull it apart and it just wasn't working out for me. So I ended up finding them, undoing them and the grill literally just fell straight from the bumper. Here you see me undoing the emblem holder that I put on previously in the video because it wasn't really going to fit at the minute. I couldn't kind of work out how it was going to go on properly. So I took them off just to make it a little bit easier, figure out the fitment because there was something stopping this grill from going on. I ended up finding these little two nubbins that basically hold the old grill on. They kind of slot the old grill onto those nubbins and that's where the T25 screws are. So I simply chopped the two of these off and the grill fit on no problem. I start to line up and measure up the grill, make sure that I did get the right one. Thank God I did. As you can see, I put the emblem holder on, realizing that that wasn't the issue. And I made sure all the clips were in place and started to do up the T25s, uh, all the million T25s that there are holding this new grill onto the original bumper. After I fit the grill to the bumper, I tried to take off the old emblem from the original grill to then fit that onto the new emblem holder. As you can see, this was a bit fiddly and it actually was a lot easier than I made it out to be. Uh, there was an insert that you could just pull out and then simply pop the clips, but I found out the hard way.
Swords Law, that's too big, isn't it? Yes. But the thing is, I either have no Audi badge. But if when I order a new one, I might have to take the bumper off again to put that on. But I'm gonna look stupid running around like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go no badge. After all that, go no badge. So once more, I started to undo a section of this grill to take the emblem holder off, realizing that. I'd have to take the whole bumper off to put the, the emblem holder back on when I get the correct size badge. This badge is for the old style Audi, the size that the old style Audi used and not the current Audi that I've got. This is a 64 plate A6. Um, so this was for the previous facelift model and that's why it doesn't fit. So I pulled that off and had to just do it up again. Simply does look good but I do like the look of it with the Audi badge. Now that the grill's on, I can start putting all the electrical connectors back in, including these front parking sensors, make sure that all the washer fluid's corrected, connected correctly, and then start putting the bumper back into position, ready to go back on the car. I then simply lift the bonnet into place, trying to make sure that all the areas need to push in and clip in properly, and then I can go back and put all the screws and bolts in as they were from factory. So it is the next day because my camera died and I had to get it finished before it turned dark, um, which I ended up finishing it and putting the wheels on finally in the dark. However, it is done. I think personally it looks so much better. This is my favorite look. Only negative for me is it doesn't have an Audi badge on it. It doesn't have an Audi badge on it because the badge that I took off the old grill is too big for the emblem holder that I've got. So I have ordered a new badge and that'll be here in a couple of days. But for now, we're running no badge, no plate, and this is how it looks. So as you can see from that cinematic that this is the, the grill without the badge. Um, I, I am going to be able to fix into here the emblem holder uh, to that hard plastic behind. And I just think it'll look a lot better because this is a bit too modified. I'm going for OEM Plus. This is not quite OEM Plus because it doesn't have an Audi badge on it. Moving on to the side, obviously in the last video we lowered the car. Uh, I have got a wheel alignment since and that started rubbing again. So I did raise it. This is quite a bit raised from what you saw last, but I think personally it looks a lot better. It's a lot more even with the front end. It may have even dropped the front end down a touch, but I just think it looks amazing. If you've made it to this part of the video, thanks for sticking around. Make sure you come back to the next video where we will be doing something to the rear end of the car. I'm not gonna give that away just yet, but stick around. It's gonna make the car look a lot better. Again, more aesthetics. Like I said before, this is my daily driver. It does need to stay reliable. However, it's gonna look mean. Like that subscribe button. Give me a like if you like the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.